early, so... Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we've got the stitch out video from the spider web design that I did in Sophie So a few days back. And I just wanted to do a video of what it's going to look like as you stitch this project out. So there's the DST file that I imported and I've got a machine loaded up ready to go with some white thread. And as I did in the last video, I well, if you haven't seen the last video, I did a Sophie Sew design where I created this. And it was pretty easy. It takes maybe 15-20 minutes. But in that video, I showed how to create this. I copied a template that I made from scanning a $1 Halloween decoration. That I found at the dollar store so I scanned it in on my computer using my scanner and I popped it into Sophie Sew in the background and I just used it as a quick template to trace around to get an idea of the spacing and whatnot and the general design of a spider web and in that video I also included a copy of the Sophie Sew file along with a copy of the export DST file to import into any embroidery machine that takes a DST. So in this video I'll also link it in the description. You can do whatever you want with the files. Uh, you can pop it in the, the Sophie Sew file in, open it up and make it something spectacular. Uh, play with it, get to know Sophie Sew a little bit better. Or you can take the DST file and load it into your embroidery machine and embroider some spider webs. It's good timing for Halloween. However, it's pretty close, so I'm sure most people are done you know with the year with the year of Halloween costume making and whatnot. But spider webs are always cool, so and also you have it for next year. So the one thing that I do say is you're using it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damage or whatever. Uh, it comes from a clean computer as far as I know. This, it, it, you can see it's obviously working for me. So I hope uh, you enjoy it and find good use for it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this stitch design here. And as you can see I've got it going in fast motion. But it's stitching out pretty good. I had to stop a couple times to trim the jump stitches. You can adjust that in Sophie Sew, so maybe a little bit more strategically than I did. It's really up to you. But it's stitched out without a hitch, and it's it was a pretty cool little project, I thought. Now, I also just mentioned that uh, it's a DST file that I imported into the brother machine that I'm using here which is the SE400 and I mentioned this in the last video as well people have been asking about PES format and the brother machines will accept both they'll accept DST and PES the thing with Sophie Soul right now is it doesn't support PES so you can't export to it to that format. You have to export to DST if you want to use it in your brother sewing machine. Not next week, but the week after, I plan on doing a video showing how to use Wilcom TrueSizer, which is a program that takes both editable or raw embroidery design files and export files and converts them into other file types. Unfortunately, that program doesn't support Sophie so for the raw design file. However, it does support DST format and you can convert it into PES. Now, I don't know if there's a difference between the two. I've never converted to PES personally and try to see if there's any kind of quality difference in the file output so that'll be interesting to see 
we'll do some experiments in that video and figure out if maybe one format's better than the other see what all the functions are of true sizer i know that i believe that there's scaling options and from what i understand you never want to scale an export file so like a dst or a pes if you're in a program and you want to scale those i think you don't want to do it more than like five percent because when you scale in the output format it doesn't uh, change the thread count so that's something to keep in mind but we'll explore more of that when we take a look at truecom's will sizer and We'll have lots of other exciting things coming up as well. But now you can see that, uh, getting back to our stitch here, our stitch out of the spider web, that we're just about done. And I think it worked, turned out pretty good. We have some jump stitches that we need to trim. However, it turned out to be a nice clean design. And like I said, anybody that modifies it or makes it cooler looking if you want to share your work I'd be more than happy to see it I'm sure everybody else would but now we're just uh, finishing up here and we're getting to the end of our last stitch and then what I'm gonna do is just trim up all the jump stitches and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so while we're finishing up here I just want to say if you haven't seen any of my other videos Check out the channel. I've got lots of different embroidery videos, how-tos, some projects that I've done, some sewing tips, some machine-specific type of stuff. Uh, a lot of good content, I think. People seem to enjoy it. And I'm always trying to make it better. So, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Leave your comments below. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them. I'm Purified. And thanks for watching Burley Show.